and uh, this is the main hub of Dublin. This is where it's all happening. They say this is like the fashion district. Yeah. But if you look down that way, this is where High House Flowers actually were discovered, right here on the left hand side. Two blokes used to be hanging out, out the band, playing acoustic guitar, some bloke walks by, supposedly the story goes, handing them a business card and the rest is history. And I think they are. <laughs> Haven't yeah. seen them in a while. But anyway, and then of course this is the famous street, which is uh, where Phil Linnett statue is. And Phil used to hang out with Brussels. Actually, Phil used to parade up and down in his fashions on uh, Grattan Street. Yeah. But he used to hang out with Brussels and play at Brussels quite a bit downstairs in the basement. And then he did wander over to MacDade's, which is right here on the left. And MacDade's is very famous because James Joyce wrote most of his novels, right they office. say, in the front window on a little. Uh, what did he call them? Golf ball typewriter or something? Yeah. Go check the Phil out. Let's see, Phil. Phil is there. The good thing about Phil, why he's so important as an Irish musician, is he, unlike other Irish musicians, say like Rory Gallagher, who more or less took American music, Phil actually pushed Irish music, didn't he? Legends and things like that, he mythology did. and things like he that. He did, I mean, and he, you know, he transformed Whiskey in the Jar into a rock song. I mean, who yeah. else could have done that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Philip, he lined up 1949 to 1986. I'm going to prove a point here. I'm giving Phil one of my purple picks that I played the gig with in Belfast last night. Yeah, I bought I'm this sure in. he's going to appreciate it. I bought this in Belfast, Phil. Take care of it, man. <laughs> I think he's brush broken a string there, ain't he, Jack? Oh, look at that, yeah. Yeah. Tower. Do 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 Hang out. What's and, uh, uh, it's called Brussels. It looks like Brussels, but we call it Brussels. Yeah. And, uh, I ventured here a lot when I was younger as well. We go see bands, but Phil would come here quite a bit and play with a lot of bands. He just got up on stage and play with them. And then supposedly Lizzie played here a handful of times. And it's actually downstairs in the basement. That place is tiny, tiny little stage, but he didn't care. He just gave it a hold, man. That's all he can do, man. Rock and roll. So here we are at Temple Bar, they call this area. The crazy thing about this is Temple Bar years ago was like this. And then all of a sudden they covered over the roads, they cement. And then a lot of the bars, they got rid of all the old look and they made it modern. You can tell you the old Dubliner was an old man's pub. And then all of a sudden it turned into like a disco nightclub type thing. There used to be a nightclub up here. But then I think it was maybe eight or nine years ago when the country started doing well that they figured this this place has got it going on. They started revamping all these old bars that used to be old and they took all these walls down, brought back the cobbles and here you got the hardware right here, Oliver St. John, Gordon, and the old group, two of the main pubs. But the actual place is called Temple Lane and the actual bar called Temple Bar is just down that's yeah. <laughs> Great crack in here. There's great music going on right now. Um, so here it's really cheap to stay here, yeah. So let's just, just take a look in the window. <laughs> so you got a band in there playing right now with traditional band in there, Irish yeah. music. And basically yeah. what happens is they show up with their instruments, sit in the corner, and it looks like they're mic'd up today. Last time I was here, they're basically sitting at a table and they're playing for points. Okay. That's basically what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're on O'Connell Bridge right now and uh, this is the main core of the sea. This is called the River Liffey. And this Liffey actually traditionally was uh, Viking ships used to sail up and down it to protect the city from bandits. That's the story goes. The bridge down there it's called the Halfpenny Bridge, or we call it the Halfpenny Bridge, and you used to have to pay a halfpenny, halfpenny to get across. And uh, recently they refurbished it. And then if you turn, right now, if you look down there, 
the, all the main train stations are down there, Tony Station, Tower Street. But then if you look to that tower that's sticking up there, just behind there is the docks. And that's all getting renovated right now. And the uh, U2 studio is down there. And uh, there's a club down there, I believe it's called Paddy's. And they hang out there quite a bit when they're in town. Over to your left here, this is the main O'Connell Street. This building here was was blown up in the 1916 rising as well as the forecourt. And what's there. that uh, monument there for? This one here? Yeah. I think it's something to do with Henry Kissinger, I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, this some Black Angels on there. Black Angels, yeah. Yeah. You get a shot of that. Yeah, I don't know if they're brazen or not, but... <laughs> Black yeah, Angel. Brazen enough. I'm David, manager from Quad Man's Europe's biggest indie band. I'm here with Brazen Angel. You know what you're talking about. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm hanging here with the Brazen Angels here at Twisted Pepper Double Down. What did I say again? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We give know, it, what, give it, know what I'm talking about. There you go. <laughs> That's it. I'm here with the Bracing Angels in Dublin, Ireland, and you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Here we are, 1 o'clock in the morning, the Tuesday night, downtown Dublin. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Thursday. Wait a minute, it's Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, 1 o'clock in the morning. Had a brilliant time, had a good laugh, danced with a bunch of fellas. Galway in the morning, and uh, apparently Galway is beautiful. It is, yeah. It's not as beautiful as him. Benny him. <laughs> How do we get home? Let's go. How do we get to your man and dad? No you idea. Know you know what I'm talking about. You know. Here we are. We're getting ready to go home. We're getting a cab, and uh, it was a great night tonight. We had some crack. Had some good crack with the bands. And Friday night at the Twisted Pepper is going to be a fantastic night. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial, you know. Well, what's the story with Limerick again? Tell me. Uh, Limerick has gone wild, ass. Wild. It's like Dublin. It's like Dublin. It's, 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 it's catching up at Dublin. Shit, there was, a, there was an article in the, in the paper today. There was a granny cop coming through the airport with two handguns. We're joking. <laughs> no, seriously. Relatives of our of all over in England. That's mad were stuff. Getting, were getting hassled and she was springing the guns out. Are you serious? True. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She was bringing the guns out. So they Bring were... on the brick, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go. <laughs> We're heading to Valley Farm with the Brazen Angels, and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 